Greenblood, my friend. My contacts have spoken. I was able to discover the location of this infamous phantom training camp. Do you still think they should be held accountable? More than ever. You know that I recruited Rayner. I want to know what kind of hornet's nest I led him into. I want to know what these madmen did. But I fear if I go alone, I might not be able to control myself. And I won't learn anything. I need the help of my best students. How can I refuse such a request? Well then, let's go. Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why, do you want to rectify this? I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. And I valued your friendship. But I thought you were referring to another kind of company. And to be honest, you and Constantine aren't exactly my type. Anything else? I must leave you. I was informed of your arrival by my sentinels, but I didn't think it would be you, Kurt. Rolf, you're the leader of this camp. Do you two know each other? We train together. We haven't seen each other in a long time. A very long time. The world of warriors is very small, Kurt. What brings you here, my old comrade? And who are these people with you? They're not one of us. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. And I am Bishop Petrus. May the Enlightened guide you. These people sure are important. So, what are you doing here? I've heard things about this place. About this very special camp. And we wanted to see what it was all about with our own eyes. That's very nice of you, but visitors aren't welcome in this camp. What goes on here is only the guards' business. Does the same apply to me? Listen, Kurt. I can give you and your friends some answers, but only because it's you. Anyway, knowing you as well as I do, I'm aware I'm not going to get rid of you that easily. So, what would you like to know? What is it you do here? And why is this place kept secret? Even from your comrades in the guard. The natives have their magic, and we have to train elites to be able to face them. That's what we're doing here. Our role is sensitive, and our location obviously cannot be revealed to the whole island. I see the reason for this kind of training. The Bridge Alliance would be particularly interested in soldiers like these. And yet I've never heard of this elite squadron. We're still in the early stages of the program. We don't want to rush things. And our leaders demand secrecy. Orders are orders. This is a huge camp for such a secret location. How is it organized? The main building is reserved for officers and the wounded. The front and rear of the camp are dedicated to combat training. But most exercises take place outside. Impressive. And how do you manage recruitment? Only the best come here. Those who have combat experience. Once they arrive, they're separated into two squadrons, each led and trained by a lieutenant. But you already know all of this, Kurt. It must bring back memories. Yes. Will you tell us about your training? That's a sensitive topic. Most exercises take place in the field to get the men used to it. The natives' knowledge of the environment gives them as much of an advantage as their magic. But if you want to know more, you should ask my lieutenant instructors. Actually, we found out about this camp while we were looking for someone. A kid I recruited. Rainer. Oh. I didn't know he was one of yours. My condolences. I was told he died in an accident in the harbor. Don't insult my intelligence, Rolf. <sighs> All right. Since you're here, I guess there's no point in lying to you anymore. 
The accident occurred during a maneuver. It's regrettable that these things happen, you know? We've taken up enough of your time, Captain. I agree, and I have things to do. I'd like to question your Lieutenant instructors, if you don't mind. To ask them about Rayna. You've become a real sap. <sighs> Fine. But try not to disrupt the day's schedule too much. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I couldn't contain my anger. I noticed. Good thing you know this captain so well. I don't think he would have let us investigate otherwise. I'm not sure it's a good thing, really. Your aversion is clear. But is it him that you hate? Or what the camp represents, my son? Rolf doesn't bring back good memories for me. But let's continue. I want to know what's going on here. Lieutenant. Captain. My friend here would like to learn more about this camp. At your orders, Captain. Sir? Can you tell us about your squadron? The recruits who come here are the best. And in my squadron, they get even better. I don't know what else to tell you. They're disciplined, rigorous, and effective. Exactly what you'd expect from the best soldiers. What kind of training takes place in your ranks? Combat in natural settings. Combat against the savages' magic. I'm very curious about how you train against the magic the natives use. Now, these are complex, secret maneuvers. I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you anymore. That's a pity. It would definitely be instructive. I heard the recruit Rainer trained here. What can you tell me about him? Oh, he was a good one. He died a little while ago. So we've heard. Your captain told us he died during a maneuver. Can you tell us more? The training we do outside can be dangerous. Unfortunately, Rayner fell to his death in a ravine. He fell? During a simulated ambush. I know, it's not glorious, but it happens. I'd like to get back to work now, if you'll allow it, Captain. Go on. We're gonna go talk to some of your recruits. I hope that it won't take too long. We're all very busy here. We'll be quick, Lieutenant. The story about training against magic is a lie. This lieutenant has no idea what he's talking about. So what could they be training recruits for here, then? I don't know. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Soldier! Yes, Captain. At ease. We have some questions for you. Me? At your orders, Captain. You look exhausted. Is training that rough here? Well, it's difficult at first, but you get through it. Taming fatigue. That's the key to it all. Haven't you ever wanted to stop? You've never doubted your vocation. I'm not a coward, nor a weakling. The strength of the shadow. What is that? Your motto? Our squadrons, Captain. You seem concerned about your comrades. You keep looking at them. No, no, not at all. Are you afraid of what they might think of you? Absolutely not, Captain. We are all of one mind in this squadron. We are very united. Since this is such a close-knit squadron, you must have known Rayner. Yes, of course. But he's not part of the squadron any longer. He left. Really? I don't know what you're trying to get me to say, Captain. Rayner left the squadron because he was sent on a mission. There's nothing more to say. Sorry, mate, but that's not what happened. I don't know anything more. Thank you. That will be all. Thank you, sire. Captain? Good heavens. I feel like a bogeyman. These recruits are clearly scared to let any information slip. It's as if their life depended on it. Lieutenant. Respectfully, Captain. Here is my friend, the legate of the Merchant Congregation. He would like to ask you a few questions. At your orders. I'm listening, sires. How do the various squadrons in this camp differ from one another? The recruits I train are intended to carry out more 
subtle actions. Really? What kind? I teach them how to blend into the background, understand customs, observe, and know when to strike. That's strange. These skills are normally associated with assassins rather than soldiers. These skills are always useful, regardless of the enemy or the setting. What kind of training do your men undergo? I can't go into details, but they learn discipline and to outdo themselves. You mean to blindly follow orders? Even to their death. But I... No, Captain. We also teach them to analyze situations, so that they know when to act to avoid risking their lives. How did you become an instructor in this camp? I have led numerous squadrons before, and I've trained hundreds of recruits on the continent. I've worked with Captain Rolf in the past, and when I arrived on the island, he recommended me for this position. That's very impressive. And I expect that you're familiar with the natives' environment and magic. Yes, yes, of course. Kurt, don't you think that someone this talented fits what we're looking for? You see, we need to find someone who can replace Kurt to oversee my cousin's security. Your cousin is a governor of New Serene, I've heard. It's a prestigious position. I don't doubt my abilities. But an offer like this, made so suddenly, must have a price. We can't hide anything from you. We're trying to find out what happened to Rainer, a recruit who trained here. That name doesn't sound familiar. He must have been in the Shadow Squadron. The other Lieutenant's Squadron? Yes. I'm sorry. Haven't been much use to you. Did something happen to him? He died. His body was thrown into the harbor to make it look like he drowned. I guess it was one of your recruits. My condolences, Captain. We'll question some of your soldiers. At your orders, but please be quick. I'd like to get on the training. Soldier! Captain! At ease, soldier. We'd like to learn more about your training. I have nothing to say about it, sir. Really? Go on, it's not a difficult question. What do you do during training? Is this a test, Captain? No, it's not a test. You may speak freely. Well, training is difficult, but we can't complain, Captain. Hmm. That's an interesting way to phrase it. You're very united in this squadron. At least, that's what I've been told. United? You could say that, yes. Until death. That's rather sinister. Does the name Rainer sound familiar to you? Yeah. Uh, well, no, not really. You seem rather hesitant. Afraid of being reprimanded by your lieutenant? No. Well, not at all. It's just that I can't tell you anything about recruit Rainer. And we're lucky to have the lieutenant as our instructor, Captain. We should leave this soldier to his work. Your name, soldier? Wilhelm. Uh, first class recruit Wilhelm, Spectre Squadron. Keep it up, Wilhelm. This recruit, Wilhelm, in spite of himself, led on more than the others. His resentment is clear. But he won't divulge anything as long as his instructors are nearby. Hello, soldier. Captain? We need information. Your instructor authorized us to question you. Of course, sire. I'm listening. How would you describe your training? Do you train outside the camp much? Yes, we do. Well, not exclusively. Really? Yet we've been told that your unit specialized in actions over difficult terrain. Uh, yes, I think so. Well, yes, that's true. Problems remembering things, soldier. No, Captain. What's it like in your squadron? Very good. The Phantom Squadron is made up only of the very best. Do you trust your comrades? We're like five fingers on one hand, sire. I would trust them with my life. We've sure got the military spirit. Yes, Captain. We've learned that a recruit died in an accident during a maneuver. Does this happen often? Uh, no, of course not. Only to those who aren't strong enough. That's strange. I was told that this recruit was very talented. I... 
I, I don't know what to tell you. It's possible. If you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my training. He seems afraid that an accident might befall him too. No, it's not that. I just don't want to fall behind schedule. Very well. Go on. Excellent. Captain. Lieutenants, report. Captain. Could you give us a few minutes and take us around the site? I've never been here before, and I'm curious to see what goes on. I'm not sure if we can, Captain. We are on duty, Captain. Right, Lieutenant. Let's go. I... Are you coming with us? No, thank you. I'd rather stay here. Take in some fresh air. As you like. In that case, see you later. Wilhelm, we need to talk. And don't worry, Kurt will make sure your superior doesn't come this way. Why are you doing this? We didn't think you'd say anything as long as she was here. If you noticed, others will have too. They'll make me pay. Even more reason to talk. If we have proof, we can take action and close this camp. <sighs> Very well. What would you like to know? What's really going on here? We know that Reyna didn't die in an accident. This is supposed to be a training camp for the Guard's elite. Only the most talented recruits are allowed to join. This is an immense honor, an extraordinary chance. That's what we're told every day. But in reality, it's just hell. Tell me about the training you undergo here. It's more torture than anything else. We're constantly beaten and humiliated, and the slightest complaint only leads to more blows. They even push us to police one another, so we don't dare talk. Whatever the orders, we put our heads down, grit our teeth, and obey. It reminds me of the Ordo Luminis' interrogation methods. The poor buggers end up admitting to anything at all, accepting the unacceptable. I heard them tell you about the specialist training against the natives in hostile environments. But what they teach us would be more useful for assassins. As for Reyna, do you know what happened to him? Yes. One day he just couldn't stand it any longer. He disobeyed orders, he fought back, and people got hurt. That's when things blew up. They summoned him for night training. What does that entail? It doesn't have much to do with real training. They call us up for it at the last minute. The weakest serve as punching bags for the others, who are encouraged to beat them. If we refuse, we too become the targets. So we join in and strike. If you're looking to punish Rain as murderer, you can start with me. We all have his blood on our hands. Thank you for telling us all of this. You should get back to your comrades. I hope you can do something. Have this camp closed. Otherwise, I'll soon be as dead as Reyna. We understand the risk you've taken. We won't let you down. Thank you. Really, that was truly fascinating. Captain. I've seen everything I needed to see. You can leave us. Yes, Captain. Shall we go? Good. Willem has spoken. What did he tell you? He said the recruits go through hell. They're humiliated, spy on each other, get bullied. It's essentially torture. Rainer wouldn't stand for these methods. He rebelled and was summoned for night training. Are you sure he used that term? Yes. But he told me it's not really training. That recruits are summoned and the others beat them, sometimes to death. I know. You knew about this kind of training? Yeah. I thought it was a thing of the past. What a monster. How dare he? I'm so sorry. I'm... I'm lost for words. Tell me, did you learn anything new? I scouted out the site. There's two parts of the barracks we should look at more closely. Rolf's quarters and the basement which they refused to open for me. These people's methods are despicable. 
But we can't just charge into the fray. Innocent people could get hurt. What do you want to do, my son? Let's wait for nightfall. We'll sneak into the camp unseen, search the barracks, the private quarters, and then the basement. We might also try to find out where this night training takes place. Yes. I wouldn't want other young recruits to lose their lives tonight. Especially Wilhelm. Strange. There's no one left in this part of the camp. Maybe they're in the combat pit behind the barracks. I saw it when I visited the camp. Or they've already left for their night training. Let's find Rolf's office. He surely has the key to the basement. This letter is disturbing, Kurt. It confirms that several deaths have been disguised in order to keep this camp secret. But it says that the recruits trained here have been assigned to governors from different cities. And yet I'm sure that Constantine knows nothing about these elite units. The conclusion of the letter also confirms that the commander is pleased with what's been going on here. So Torsten knew. So it seems, including about the deaths. He's gone too far. He dishonors us all. Sieglinda was right. would surely envy such a place if they knew it existed. This document explains a lot. They torture the soldiers to break them. Rainer shows up on this list more than once. He gave them a lot of problems. Those who resist too much are lynched during night training. Rolf, you'll pay for this. Kurt, Wilhelm's name was added to tonight's training. These monsters want to make him pay for the help he gave us. The poor child will probably not survive. We can't let them kill him. We must stop this training immediately. The risk is that Rolf will ambush us. If this boy dies because of us, I will never forgive myself. Despite what Wilhelm told me, I wasn't expecting this. He's getting Come destroyed. On, if you're dead. They'll kill him. We can't let them get away with it. Stop! We won't let you kill this boy like you killed Rainer. Soldiers! Do you realize what you're doing? Captain? But... You shouldn't be here. This time. You won't get away with it. Tom's! 
Do you know what happens to those who die in this regiment? Their bodies are thrown out like those of rabid animals. If you die here, you'll die without glory. No one will ever know what happened to you. I doubt that's what they promised you when you joined the Guard. No. No, of course not. A good soldier doesn't fight for glory. He fights to be the best. Really? Then the Guard really has changed. Did you recruits leave your families to end up lynched and thrown into a ditch? No. He, he, you're right, Captain. We never should have ended up here. Traitors. Cowards. Deserters. Maybe in life you protect me in this battle. Yeah. To yeah. my health. Yeah. And death to the others. Ah. Ah. Will you be all right? I'm wounded, but I'll survive. Thanks to you. I'm eternally grateful. Come, Wilhelm. We'll help you get home. We owe you that, at least. I'm counting on you to bring him back to the camp in one piece. Yes, Captain. Well then, let's go. We can't let that vermin Rolf escape us. I refuse to let these recruits pay for the bastards who manipulate them. Let's avoid spilling blood in vain. These children are victims, yes. But they are armed victims. Are you sure they'll spare us in return? They're just kids. There has to be a way to reason with them. We'll do what we can, Kurt. I can't promise anything more. Nobody saw us. All we have to do is ambush them in the pit. Rolf, you bastard. How could you be part of this disgrace? You know that this is how the best soldiers are made. Soldiers, grab your weapons! Death to the traitors! Stop! Soldiers, are you really going to obey these scoundrels? Do I need to remind you of the guard's motto? Where is your honor? I won't repeat myself, recruits. Execute these traitors. Soldiers, listen to your captain. You are the victims of these monsters, and we are here to save you. We're doing our best to avoid a fight, to spare your lives. Well, what do you want us to do? We have orders, and we know what will happen to us if we don't obey. Enough! To arms! Attack! It was nearly Wilhelm's turn tonight. It could have been any of you. A lies. Only the weak fall. So we must prove that we aren't among them. Nonsense. I've seen more combat than any of you, and I've seen hundreds of soldiers die. Weak or not, I've seen this kind of camp before, full of torture and sadistic officers. I thought it was a thing of the past, but I was wrong. So help me make sure this camp really is the last of them. You... You're right, Captain. If we don't put down our weapons, this will never end. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You've trained cowards. Their training wasn't finished, Captain. And the speeches were so convincing. Silence! Where is this second squadron? Should have been here a long time ago. They're not coming, Rolf. They surrendered too. It would appear that your training methods aren't very effective. Now that you no longer have lackeys to send after us, Rolf, you'll have to get your own hands dirty. I've dreamt of shutting that big mouth of yours up for so long. Maybe in life you protect me in this... To my health! And death to the others! Move away! Things are about to...
Will you be all right, Kurt? Yes. Yes. I'll be fine. I'm just glad to know that this camp won't kill anyone else. What about you, Wilhelm? Thank you for saving my life. Without you... I hope you can forget all about this. This is not what the Guard is about. I don't know if you'll be able to forgive us, Wilhelm. I've been in your shoes on other nights. You didn't have the choice. While we wait for this camp to close for good, you'll be under Wilhelm's command. You'll soon receive your transfer orders. At your orders, Captain. Glad it's you, Wilhelm. You'll stay here for now. I'll send men I trust to come get you soon. What do you want us to do? I'll need backup if I really want to put an end to all of this. We must go see Major Sieglinder in New Serene. I need to tell her what was going on here. Are you sure she wasn't involved? Her? Never. She's old school. She already held the commander at a distance because she didn't like the direction the guard was headed. He would have sacked her, or worse, if she didn't have so much support within the guard. I should have listened to her. There's no use brooding over the past. Let's go. We'll go and see her immediately. Sieglinda, I need to talk to you. What's the matter, Kurt? We've just returned from a training camp. A secret camp where elite soldiers are trained through terror, humiliation, and torture. Don't tell me that. Yes. One of my recruits died, and he wasn't the only one. It is designed to create a regiment of assassins. I am sorry, Kurt. I knew something was wrong, but I never would have thought it'd go that far. We put an end to it all. We had to. But Torsten allowed it, even encouraged it. I told you that the Commander's ambition would end up leading us astray from the ideals of the Guard, and that we would pay the price for it. Yes. At the time, I told you you were exaggerating. That he had his reasons. What are you gonna do? I'm going to speak out, Sieglinder, and reveal the Commander's project to the Governor of the Congregation. If I were as close to him and his family as you are, I would have done so a long time ago. I know. I feel so stupid for not having understood Torsten's scheme until now. You've always been a loyal person, Kurt. And too many loyalties are sometimes hard to reconcile. But Torsten betrayed us all. I'm counting on you to make him pay for it. Believe me, he won't get away with it. Goodbye, Sieglinder. Goodbye, Kurt. My men and I stand with you. Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? Tell me about your family. Were your parents in the guard as well? Yes. And to be truthful, I never knew them. I was entrusted to a wet nurse, a prostitute, and followed the troops. I remember her. She was sweet and a good person. She may be the only one who showed me any kind of affection. But that didn't last. As soon as I could hold a wooden sword, I was given a real one and sent to training. Anything else? What is your duty as Master of Arms, besides teaching us how to fight? What was my duty, you mean? It's all in the past now. In truth, you may have guessed it, but my main role was to make sure that nothing would happen to you and Constantine. Without, of course, turning you into some courtiers that are afraid of Steve. You have to be considered trustworthy to take on this role. But alas, it isolates you from the rest of the guards. Always at the courts, but never really belonging to it. I spent almost my entire time with you without seeing my comrades. Anything else? I must leave you.